three three, and hopefully this will be a goal fest tonight as well. I was wondering how long it was going to take you to mention that, Kieran, about you making your debut. Yeah, I didn't get the call for it this evening, unfortunately. But I'm glad I'm not defending this Finn Harps corner. Harps always carry plenty of threat from set pieces. And it's going to be Patrick Ferry to take this. And this looks like one off the trainer ground. And it struck over the bar in the early exchange. So it wasn't a bad point in the end against the students who, of course, sit second in the league behind runaway league leaders Cork City. We'll try and update you on some of the other score lines as the evening progresses. All 20 League of Ireland clubs in action tonight. And Success Udigan looking to capitalise on a loose touch at the back. He's cut across it, but it might fall nicely indeed. It does for Patrick Ferry. Harps off to a flyer. In his 16th appearance of this campaign tonight. Of course, his brother Barry played for Finn Harps as well. What a player he was. Chambers looking for Kyle O'Connor on the outside. O'Connor, that's a lovely cross to Adi Amo. Didn't get the power in the header and Tim Oliver Heimer gets down the save. What a chance. That's fantastic play. And finds Carl Chambers. Chambers been forced back. It's good pressing from Finn Harps. But O'Connor's been left free. Controls it on the right. Takes it on the left. Here comes the cross. It's a great ball again, but the ball just slightly behind Adi Amo. O'Connor has it once again. Nutmeg from O'Connor. He's into the Harps penalty area. Dings it towards the back post, but there's nobody there. Adeyemo was already the first misplaced pass of the game. I think he's just trying to catch his breath after that lung busting run. He has been absolutely superb in the opening 20 minutes for Longford Town, Kyle O'Connor. Dino Shea now in a test of strength against success. Odigan, Odigan too strong for him. Burst into the penalty area. And it could have been deja vu, but it's off the post from Ferry. <laughs> Almost a carbon copy, as you said. What a left. So another opportunity for Longford Town to put this Harps team under some pressure with a free kick into the 18-yard box. Bashing Heary and Ross Fay standing over this. Fay steps over it. It's going to be Heary. Heary. It's a oh lovely curling free kick to Denny oh, who's yet to score for Longford Town since his move from Shamrock Road. Final warning. That's uh, some lovely play by Chamber though. That's two now in the last couple of minutes and really just showing a bit of composure there to, to win them free kicks for, for Longford in a dangerous position. It's a mulligan for Bastion here. It's another good inviting ball. And Dean O'Shea, ball off the post. O'Shea has been a real goal threat for Longford. He's one of their top scorers this season with three. That was wedge out and lob it into the box. If you can copy the last two deliveries, I'm sure that Longford fans will be happy enough. Longford Town have six players in the penalty area here. A couple on the edge of the box as well. It's another great ball from Heary. Nobody really attacked it in a red and black shirt. It was no baba, no surprises there. Doherty out to Ferry. The man who's given Finn Harps this lead after he snuck in at the back post. His goal was set up by this man, Success Edigan. It's great hold-up play again from Success Edigan. Ball inside, McNamee gets the glance and header on it. It flashes wide. Whoa. Easily could have fallen to Johnston either. That's a huge let off for Longford. Chinnet. I think the criticism from a Longford Town point of view, there's three players around them there. Yeah, and, and they have winning the free yeah. kick, like, you know, it's big chance here for Harps. McNamee, Mackinson glancing header, and that's another chance for Finn Harps. It looks like they've been busy on the training ground with the set pieces. Johnston down the line for Watson. Watson beat to it by Kyle O'Connor, who was probably long for a standout player in that first half. He had a five or ten minute spell where he was on fire. But Longford have gone cold and they could be put to sleep here if success. Udigan can find the back of the net. Jack Brady called into action once again at the start of this second half. That's his second save from success now in the yeah, space of a few minutes. Really lost the Kieran. Longford have lost a lot of ground here. A lot, a lot of emphasis out of the attack and eventually the attack breaks down. O'Connor's gone down holding his face. Referee allowing play to continue. Longford looks stretched at the back. Ferry almost leaves the ball behind him, but he's got time to recompose himself and go again. Ferry drives it across the face of goal, and success Udigan can't believe that he didn't make contact with that one. It's enough quickly to get his foot on that one as well. Chambers hits the deck, but the ball falls at the feet of O'Connor, and he opens up the pitch nicely with a pass here to Budiaf. Budiaf moving through the gears. Budiaf still has it. Budiaf, was he caught late? The referee's given the foul against Budiaf. Budiaf cannot believe that decision. Being sheet this year, Lucas Keaton. I suppose everyone has to earn their stripes, but certainly he could have got the cards out on a few occasions tonight, and he's decided not to. Ball over the top towards Ross Fay. 
Fate looks to lash it across the six yard box. He might get a second bite of the cherry. Plays it inside to John Tallon, who finds the bottom corner. Occasion, it was oh so close to have been something special. It was an unusual one too between him and Jack Brady, all right, but. <laughs> Here he gliding past Finn Hart's players Harry with the cross Mackinson got something on it it'll fall though to Kyle O'Connor O'Connor looking for Faye and only for that interception from Baba I think Faye was about to tuck that one into the back of the net but it's another corner for long debut uh, Tropinets hasn't played a whole pile since he arrived at the, the club next, the next man on the sheet though I think that should be brought on Priosti definitely only 17 years of age himself Callum Bonner also another youngster that hasn't seen a lot of football so it's a very inexperienced Longford Town bench and just straying into an offside position there was Jordan Talent? What a finish from Talent! But he's denied the brace. Harps goal. Campbell is trying to take this down. Campbell runs straight into David Cawley. Cawley with a lovely ball inside to Ferry. And here's the substitute. McAteer who gets the ball out to Success Udigan. Success with the shot and he stings the palms of Jack Brady. O'Connor unable to keep it in play. Harps corner. Are we in a time warp? Is this 2010 yeah, South Africa? <laughs> ah, look, it's great to hear the supporters making a bit of noise. Yeah, McAteer. That's a great pass in behind for Johnston. Johnston goes for the shot. Success was unmarked at the back post. He's furious the ball didn't arrive his way. I think you wear oven mitts when you're making a cup of tea, do you, Ethan? <laughs> <laughs> Very conservative. Oh, yes. We'll, we'll Ferry, uh, nothing conservative about that. Cheeky back heel. Success is in. 1v1. Save from Brady. That's his main job, keeping the ball out of the net. And he does yeah. that brilliantly for Longford. 